Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So today I'm going to use some live trading using uh, first of all the 20 pips a day uh, strategy and also we are going to use the Fibonacci retracement strategy. Of course if you want to know these strategies you can head to my channel and you can find all the videos you need about these two strategies. Honestly speaking I have said that million times so uh, I hope everyone already know that. Now uh, going to the 15 minute time frame on the pound NZD. Now before I continue I just need to remind everyone that if we want to use the 15 minute time frame for scalping we actually cannot do that with any time with any pair we need to select only a very few selected pairs uh, just for summarizing they are all of the pound pairs all of the pound pairs are really good to trade on the 15 minute time frame also euro and zd euro and zd is good uh, the gold gold is fantastic even for the one minute time frame it's really amazing um euro aud and which one else and i think euro cad but recently it's not uh, that good for the 15 minute time frame but in general i am asking you guys to focus always on the pound and the gold these are really very profitable for the 15 minute time frame meanwhile the other pairs are actually good for you to be used with the bigger time frames such as 30 minutes for four hour one hour and so on so now regarding for the pound and CD, I'm actually waiting for the pair to reach that previous strong key resistance level. If we look carefully, we can see that this is, let me just tell you something here. Now, since I'm looking for any good setup for the pound and ZD, what are my good options right now? If I look at the left, we can see that the market is right now rising, it's going up. And I'm looking for any option for actually the, sh uh, the short or the sell. So we need to look for a strong resistance. Now looking at the left, we only see a strong previous uh, or a a previously strong support level. We can see that here we also had a strong support level. However, I cannot find in this zone right here any strong resistance near to the current price. The only strong resistance I can see is actually right here and right here. However, these are still far from the current price. So therefore, by looking at the left again, we can see that here we have very strong resistance level. I have explained before in the previous video that if you want to know the strong resistance level, we can identify it by a strong tail or a strong wick just like that. Uh, the reaction of the market once it has touched this level, it indicates a strength in the level and the market has made a reaction once it touched the price of um, 1.97061 it has reversed immediately and that price level kept strong in the future as you can see it was uh, acting as a strong support level also the market was ranging on it as a resistance and it was also strong as a support level as well so it's my best entry actually or my best chance to wait for the market to rise a little bit more bit a, a little bit more for almost 11 pips and then i'm gonna short the pound nzd so i think this is a very good opportunity i'm not gonna waste it i just need to wait some time for it so therefore uh, allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you to show you once i open the trade okay so i have found something else actually i found the usd chf is having a very good entry as we can see right here exactly so here we can see that we had a strong key resistance that is a key resistance in the past and that resistance has recently been breaking out from and as we can see right here on the 15 minute time frame we had the support number one not to mention of course that also that support was a support here in the past as well same level of the resistance uh, of, of the key resistance therefore after seeing the market is falling down to the previous support level uh, it's not really a bad, a bad idea for the scalpers to start buying the USDCHF only for very short term only until it reach the nearest resistance to the entry which is right here actually the nearest uh, support or resistance to the can to the to the entry is gonna be right here that is going to be the nearest support however i believe the market since it is moving in uptrend i think it's going to continue the rise 
to hit the previous resistance right here but if you want to follow the strategy rules correctly you can open the buy order right here once the market touch it and keep the trade running until the market hit the nearest support which is exactly right here so the candle is, is falling down and it's very close to our entry point uh, it's just like one two pips away we just gonna have to wait for it please look at the spread on IC markets that's amazing almost all of the pairs having less than one pip as a spread that's fantastic so therefore it's gonna be good idea to open the trade right here I'm just waiting for the market let me take one more look at the pound NZD yeah the market is still did not reach our entry point go back to the UCCHF and I'm just waiting again for the market to fall for a few pips only then I'm gonna open the buy order so uh, again guys sorry let me just pause the recording and I'll be back to you actually I got an idea it's very interesting thing let's do it I want to prove to you that my uh, Fibonacci retracement strategy is very powerful and it's more accurate than the manual analysis so what we will do as you can see I have analyzed manually that here is where I want to place the buy order however let's do something more interesting let's draw Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this higher high let me do it like that and as you can see this level here <coughs> this level right here is Fibonacci 61.8 and therefore I'm gonna wait for the candle to fall a little bit more down to touch the Fibonacci 61.8 and then I'm gonna place my buy order and it's gonna be a very accurate entry uh, the purpose of this uh, thing here is that we don't want to miss any ent any pips for nothing we don't want to lose any money at all of course therefore I'm planning to have just a perfect perfect entry so let me tell you what I'm expecting is gonna happen um, the market or this candle is gonna continue the fall and indeed it's gonna reverse on the level I have mentioned however it's gonna continue falling a little bit more down to touch the Fibonacci 61.8 and then it's gonna reverse so eventually if I'm not mistaken this candle or the next candle is gonna close like that it's gonna close like that a full candle here and a tail coming from uh, the end of the body I'm very interested to see what will gonna happen let's see if my uh, assumption is correct and hopefully it's gonna be correct as usual thankfully so uh, let me now please pause the recording and by the way I'm gonna keep this one here so you can see that the candle most likely is gonna close exactly as I'm telling so let me just please pause the recording and I'll be back to you uh, once the entry is valid <laughs> guys it's really amazing feeling when you can read the market you feel like you outsmarted exactly what I have what happened here uh, what uh, what I told you has happened look at that the candle has just closed exactly exactly at the level I have mentioned and now the candle is falling down a little bit and I'm gonna place the buy order right here exactly exactly and I kept this drawing here so you can see by yourself that what I'm teaching here is very accurate and correct now it's a matter of time so let's see how the next candle is gonna react to Fibonacci 61.8 oh shit did I, did I delete it by mistake Oh damn, it's okay. I'm gonna draw it again. I just want to remind everyone about how I predicted the market uh, to move and actually I'm not showing off. I just want you guys to believe that if you are, if you have enough experience in this field, if you understand how this market reacts and moves, it's very easy for you to also do the same and you can actually make a lot of profits and also you can recover your losses in, in case you just were able to read how the market moves so that being said let me see uh, since we're having the previous support level right here I'm gonna set my take profit right here so sadly that's that's gon not gonna be 20 pips uh, a day uh, a trade because it's gonna give me only um, eight pips of profit but that is totally fine because I have entered with, uh, with one whole lot and that's gonna give me $87 of profit let me just set uh, my stop loss just a little bit below that support level here that is the support level right here and I have set my stop loss just below it because I'm expecting from the market if in case it, the trade is going to go against me uh, it's going to reverse right on that support level however if it continue to fall down 
<clears throat> it means that the, the trade is no more valid and therefore we have to close with the loss by the way look at that the candle already reversing it's already reacting to Fibonacci 61.8 so thankfully uh, believe me guys what I'm teaching you here is really valid and it's for free um, I hope you guys are just earning money from what I'm teaching you again I'm gonna draw it here so I'm gonna show you how this candle is gonna close meanwhile let's check the pound and ZD pound and ZD seems like it's already reversing so it might take some time for this uh, candle to actually touch our take profit level or sorry our entry point let me now please <clears throat> pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once I find another decent setup and look at the USDCHF it has reversed exactly man that's awesome what's happening right here I'm, I'm just really feeling glad for my skills here and experience in this field um, I'm just proud of myself honestly speaking because I was able to read the market how exactly it's gonna react guys this is exactly what I said it's gonna happen the market is gonna close as the candle body right here on the level I have drawn manually and it's gonna continue falling just to create the wick on 61.8 so amazing so far and thankfully the trade is reversing and I'm gonna close it right now with $70 of profit because simply I can see that here there is a resistance and there is a slight chance that the market might reverse here however uh, my inner feeling says that it's gonna continue the rise to hit 23.6 on that resistance however uh, I just want to secure profit and that's how I was able to reach this account to 1500 uh, all the way from $600 deposit because it's just simply I accept the profit as they are I'm not a greedy person I don't wait for the candle to hit the take profit level I just accept the profit if they are good for me and that's that's it that is very simple okay pound in zd let's back to the pound in zd uh it has already reversed so the setup here is no more valid let me just delete it and get rid also of the alert that i have drawn here recently all right so we are still looking for good setups for the <clears throat> for the scalping let me please now pause the recording and i'll be back to you once i find a good setup all right looking at the euro pound we can see that the euro pound is right now reversing it's rising a little bit more up so let me use fibonacci retracement to know exactly where i can place my sell order now as we can see the candle is approaching uh, fibonacci 61.8 and if it has reversed if it reverses, it's gonna continue falling all the way to hit that previous support level right here uh, I'm not a big fan of this trade because as we can see the reaction of, on the support is very strong and short thing right here uh, let me go to the 4-hour four, four chart we always need to look at the bigger time frame yeah check it out on the 4-hour chart this is absolutely bad for the short we cannot really short right here let's go to the 1-hour chart again it's really the, bad, the worst idea if you want to start shorting at such a position therefore let's go back again to the 15 minute time frame and actually i just wanted to show you this so you can see that we cannot really just uh, open the trades blindly on any candle that hits fibonacci 61.8 that is not smart at all we cannot keep doing that we just need to find the right the right uh, position the right uh, pattern and a very logic setup and we only use the Fibonacci retracement only to confirm our entries no more please don't rely on the Fibonacci uh, completely just like you are uh, thinking it's the key um, element to win all the forex trades it's like the holy the holy grail to win all of your trades no that's not the case at all we are using Fibonacci retracement only to confirm our entries if they are valid or not so right here <coughs> For example let me show you uh, someone might wonder why I did why did I ignore the setup here on the pound AUD because as you can see we, ha we are having right here a strong key support level and Salah is always telling us to look for this key support level but the candle was falling here to, the, to touch the key support level but Salah simply ignored it what was the reason the reason is simply if I draw Fibonacci retracement from this sub, uh, low here to this high here 
it's very easily to identify that this candle has already exceeded 61.8 the market has already made the break out of the level that means the candles are actually going to continue the fall below the support level on 1 1.8125 sorry uh, 1.81525 Therefore, I just ignored this setup because the market doesn't seem like it's going to reverse. And if you're going to wondering why did not I sell then, since I am sure it's going to continue the fall, I'm telling you I'm not a gambler. Uh, since I have my style, I'm looking for the reversals and I'm going to stick to it and I'm going to keep looking for the reversals. So sadly, I cannot find any more setup actually. That's weird. Uh, let me please now pause the recording and I'll be back to you later. Hold on. We can see that here we're having, if I draw the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, my analysis says that we can actually start the short right away, right here. Those who are following me long time, they know exactly the reason. And I wonder if I should explain it. The reason simply, my friends, is we're having right here a bearish breakout candle. And right here, next to the bearish breakout candle, we can see the tail. That is the nearest tail. The tail right here is the nearest one to the breakout candle and that means the market exactly the market is going to reverse exactly on the same level of the previous tail however fibonacci retracement telling me that this is 61.8 is just above that level so we can expect the same scenario of the usdchf to happen however i don't think it's gonna happen not like the usdchf no because we are having right here a previous resistance that was a resistance number one so i am assuming that the candle is going to continue the rise it's going to break out from that previous support it's going to continue the rise and then actually reverse uh same like what happened to the to the uccchf here and then continue the rise more just to make a tail or sorry a wick to hit the previous le level of uh, resistance number one and then it's gonna reverse after creating resistance number two man this is 17 minutes video and i just have only one trade opened wow wow okay sorry for the long time video but i really hope it was very uh, educative and very informative to you my friends i'm sure all the information that i have mentioned in this video was very informative even though we just opened one trade only uh usdchf as you can see is now continue the rise uh i need to find any setup i need to find the setup i need to find the setup uh something something anything at all uh but nothing good at all <laughs> this is the problem <laughs> nothing is good at all okay let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later once i find another setup finally after like an hour we can find something here very good uh and it's a very good setup first of all okay let me just delete that let me show you my friends that why I'm telling this is a good setup is because we're having right here a bearish breakout candle and right here also we had a previous support. Now of course not only that we can see that the very same level was also a previous resistance right here. Now the thing I'm telling you that we should use the Fibonacci retracement is only to confirm our entry. So now I'm about to place my sell order right here. However, I'm just trying to find something else that makes me more confident about my trade and by drawing Fibonacci from this lower high to this lower low look at that it is exactly right now on Fibonacci on Fibonacci 61.8 therefore I'm gonna place the sell order right away now regarding the stop loss since I have placed my trade right here on Fibonacci 61.8 it's easier to tell if the stop loss is gonna be decided or not because if we see any bullish breakout candle above Fibonacci 61.8 most likely what will gonna happen is the market if you have guys watched my previous video uh, of understanding the market uh, the breakout is gonna happen and then the market is gonna reverse right on the previous resistance right here therefore the market is going to reverse as i said and it's going to retest the broken level of fibonacci 61.8 and then in that case i'm going to close uh, i'm going to close my trade with a break even or or a tiny loss however that's what i'm going to do with the uh, stop loss therefore i'm just going to set my stop loss just a little bit above the resistance level because it's i'm just setting my stop loss here only for um 
for securing the account from being wiped if something happened if uh, unexpected news happened something might cause the currency to extremely uh, gain a lot of strength and it will jump like that so i'm gonna be safe and the stop loss is just gonna save me however i'm not gonna rely on the stop loss at all as i said i'm only depending on the price action to decide if the trade is gonna be closing loss or not however now we can see that we have placed the trade right here and i will delete the <coughs> Uh, Fibonacci retracement so it will not confuse me so looking at the levels we can notice that that right here right here exactly we can see that we had here a previous support level that support has become a new resistance uh, that resistance has been recently breaking out from these three candles representing the breakout and right here we can see the first attempt of the support so that is the support number one therefore that means if the market is going to continue the falling, I'm going to close my trade at the nearest support, which is exactly right here, that level. So uh, the trade is going immediately in profit, as I told you, and we can close it with almost seven pips of profit. So everything is going well so far. And I hope uh, you guys have learned a lot about how we can actually analyze the market manually. And then we can confirm our entry using the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, by only watching these two trades however let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and the candle is falling as i said to you my friends and so far it's going in uh, almost five fifths of profit i understand it's very low however i'm trading on big account this time and i'm gonna close the trade right now for simple reason is we are very close to the support level and I don't want to risk losing the trade for no reason. However, uh, the point I wanted to mention here that we can actually find a small reversals. That is what I am ex uh, my expertise in finding these reversals. And I really hope you guys have learned in this 21 minutes video how you can actually find these reversals and how you can confirm them using the Fibonacci adjustment. I'm totally aware that only two trades is very low. However, you have to understand it's not easy for me to record these videos first of all there is a pressure when you are using your live account and you are recording you are really risking uh, losing the trade because the the stress is more and there and the second thing is it takes long time to actually find these trades usually i open about i would say a total of maybe eight to ten trades per day I'm just trying to be very careful and if I don't find anything uh, at all I don't I just simply don't trade but when I'm recording live trading video I'm forced to actually find setups and I'm forced to keep my eyes on them and recording and it is actually consuming a lot of energy so in the end I really hope you guys have learned a lot uh, from this video and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching